Hello booktube and welcome to Tag Tuesday. Uh, for this Tag Tuesday I'm going to be doing uh, the bookish first tag. This tag was created by Mooney uh, Reads and I first saw this on Jim's books reading and stuff. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, question number one. What is the first full-length book that you remember reading on your own? Not like picture books or anything like that. So I'm assuming this would be sort of children's novels or what would now be called middle grade fiction. And for that, I'm going to say it was either the last of the really great Wonga Doodles or Archie Margaret and the Rats of Nim. I want to say it was one of those two. So I'll leave links to both, or need both of them in the show notes. Um, so as I've mentioned before, because both novels have shown up a bit in recent tags, um, The Last of the Really Great Wonga Doodles is a portal fantasy by Julie Andrews, in which a group of children and a zany professor who somehow has custody of them or is watching them or something, end up going into this sort of fantasy world where they have to help the king of this world who is the last of the really great Wonga Doodles. Um, it has been forever since I've read it. Well over probably 30 years. Ooh, I feel so old now. Um, I remember quite enjoying it when I read it, but I haven't reread it since. And then R.T. Margaret and the Rats of Nim is a sequel to the Rats of Nim books uh, in which a two orphan humans are taken in for the duration of the book by uh, an offshoot of the Rats of Nim, I think. And I currently don't remember who wrote it, so I will remember to leave that in the show notes. Um, question number two. What is the first series you remember finishing? Um, I would say it would have been the Illinium Trilogy by David Eddings. In the Illinium Trilogy, this is one of his... So David Eddings had two major sort of fantasy worlds that he worked in. There was the Belgariad, which was this big epic fantasy series. And then he had another one called, that were formed uh, two trilogies, the Illinium and the Tamuli. Um, the first series of books I ever finished was the Illinium. I'd read uh, two, the first two, Little House in the Big Woods and Little House on the Prairie by Laura Ingalls Wilder when I was younger, but I never completed the series. And there are a number of books in that series, but, um, the Illinium Trilogy is the first series I've ever, I ever actually finished completely. And I remember the series quite fondly. It's about a knight who'd been exiled, uh, returning home to find his queen has been uh, poisoned. And to save her life, she's been encased in this sort of protective diamond uh spell and he must go on a quest to find a way to free her to cure her and also to find out who poisoned her all the while um the rest of the kingdoms in this continent are at each other's throats there's this eastern uh, kingdom that's ruled by this dark lord figure under a dark god figure that's threatening a periodic invasion, and all that goes, breaks loose. Um, so I've often thought about revisiting the series, but I don't know. Um, there's a whole bunch about David Eddings that I've talked about a bit, uh, particularly my um, book tours, the last few times I've done a book tour about him. He's a bit of a monster. Um, 
Well, I mean, he's not a bit of a monster. He is a monster, or was a monster. But anyway, let's get on to question number three. What is the first book-to-movie adaptation you remember watching knowing it was a book-to-movie adaptation? I want to say it was maybe The Muppet Christmas Carol. Um, I want to say it was probably that, that I knew it was a book before. But it could also have been maybe something like The English Patient, which would have been a book I read the book first and then I read the movie adaptation. But I want to say it was uh, The Muppet Christmas Carol. Uh, and which would be obviously Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Uh, question number four. Who was your first book crush? Um, for this one, I'm going to echo what Jim said in his video. I don't really remember ever having crushes on characters from books. Unless maybe like, say, comic books, in which case, by like Peter Parker. Because Peter Parker from the 90s was really hot. Um, as well as Gambit, for that matter. Um, so I would probably also go with maybe, like, an actor, and that would be Will Wheaton. Um, so question number five, who was your first bookish friend? Again, does this necessarily mean a character... From a book that you wish would have been your friend or like somebody you were friends with who was also very much a reader in which case I don't think I have answers for either one um, as much as I don't really have I mean I've never really had a crush on any fictional character from a book nor have I ever really wanted to be a friend of anybody who was a fictional character in a book and I really never had much in the way of friends, let alone bookish friends, while I was in school. Um, question number six. What is the first adult book you remember reading not for school? Probably would have been a study in Scarlet. No, I will take that back. A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. Um, I had, so at some point when I was, I think, in like third grade. Might have been second grade, but I'm definitely by third grade. Uh, my kind of sort of stepmother. Um, I think she bought me and my brother a box set of um, the great illustrated classics and I would read um, I picked out like a tale of two cities and I read it when I was in like third or fourth grade and just devoured it and then from there I basically started to transition to more adult fiction starting with a mystery um, uh, Studying Scarlet by um, Con Arthur Conan Doyle, and then Agatha Christie, and so on and so forth. Uh, question number seven. Who was your first character role model? <sighs> Again, I don't really have an answer for this. Um... I mean, I really don't have, I've never really had that sort of that emotional um, relationship with a character purely created from prose. Um, so, I don't know. Um, I've never really had much in the way of role models anyway. That's just some, not something I've ever really been all that interested in or ever really had. Uh, question number eight. Who was the first author you were truly inspired by? That would probably be China Miebel. Um, 
I first discovered uh, his work in the mid 2000s with um, Perdido Street Station and absolutely loved it. And his style, his world building, his characterization, it just completely sort of like upended all of my writing plans. And I really committed myself to wanting to write science fiction and fantasy uh, far more than I did um, general fiction or to be ambitious, um, literary fiction. Because before uh, China Medieval and Perdido Street Station, I was more interested in writing more realistic fiction, you know, real literary fiction. Um, that was a lot of, like, when I took a few writing classes, that was what I wrote. Um, I mean, I had a few ideas for fantasy, I, uh, a few fantasy ideas, but they never really got off the ground. Whereas the um, more realistic stuff, the more literary um, projects I had in mind, I was far more interested in those. Uh, but after Pretty Issue Station, I really got into wanting to re to write uh, science fiction and fantasy because I thought that was just absolutely brilliant work. Um, uh, question number nine. What is the first book you remember touching or moving you? Probably, well, I would say maybe Animal Farm by George Orwell, because I remember getting to the end of it and just gradually getting more and more incensed about what was happening to the farm and to the animals on the farm who were not the pigs. Uh, question number 10. What was the first classic you read not for school? Again, A Tale of Two Cities by Charles and Dickens. <laughs> Unless you're talking about classics in the sense of the literature of ancient Greece and Rome, probably a collection of, of Greek lyric poems that I checked out from the library and I can't quite remember it. I could also say probably was it, I think it was the Odyssey, but yeah, that wouldn't count because I, I didn't actually finish it at the time. So it would probably be a collection of uh, Greek lyrics or a tale of two cities again. Um, question number 11. What was the first YA book you read? So I basically moved from what you could consider middle grade to adult fiction and sort of never really looked back. Um, I've never really gotten into wanting to read YA. If I read books by or about teen characters, um, they're usually more geared towards adults. Say for example, Mysterious Skin by Scott Heim. But, um, I did read um, More Than This by Patrick Ness a few years ago. It was up for some literary prize, and I read that one in, alongside A Tale for the Time Being by Ruth Ozeki, and I really enjoyed um, More Than This. Um, it was quite moving, uh, quite interesting. I thought maybe some of the characterizations were a bit off, uh, some things that I'm not entirely sure why they weren't said or weren't articulated and there were some things that kind of bugged me about the book now that I think about it because having tried to reread it again even though I have it in my collection um, it really hasn't worked for me minus that first reading experience um, but in general I'm not really all that interested in YA it's a genre that really doesn't appeal to me, or it could generally be because it would be more science fiction and fantasy, YA, and 
As Dave Donahue is quite fond of pointing out, for some reason or other, the fate of the universe or the world rests on who the hero decides they want to have a relationship with. The good person or the slightly bad person who's actually really good too, but not necessarily a goody two-shoes. Uh, question number 12. What was the first ebook you read? Um, ignoring fan fiction, um, I would say it was probably um, August Nights by Nellie Christine, um, which, okay, probably originated as fan fiction and probably was, I think, Glee fan fiction. Um, but it was um, basically about a high school. <laughs> Uh, pers like he, um, well, no, it was a, a college football player who really was a backup's backup, who was short of on money. Uh, I mean, obviously, uh, the school, sp uh, collegiate sports is basically a ripoff when the students are concerned. So in order to make money, he... Uh, decides to um, do porn or to do gay porn it pays more than straight porn does so while he's auditioning he ends up running into a guy from his high school that he knew and they kind of hit it off it's terrible it is just absolutely atrocious um, but that would be the first um, ebook I read. There is a possibility I actually read one of the Book Two Prize books first, but I'm pretty sure it was August Nights by Nellie Christine. So that was the um, bookish first tag. If you would like to do this tag, I consider yourselves tagged, and I will see you not tomorrow. Um, my mom has an appointment tomorrow. So I won't be here to film. Well, I won't be home to film. I'll be accompanying her for her uh, shot. Um, not a COVID vaccine shot, but um, cause she's already gotten it. But um, a probably injection. She has osteoporosis. Um, so I won't be in tomorrow. So I won't have a video up tomorrow. Hopefully I'll have a tag up on Thursday, depending if I remember what tags I've been buried by. Or if there are any new tags I would like to do. And then on Friday, there will be a quite possibly very contentious weekly reads. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Okay. Anyway, I will see you definitely Thursday. And if not, certainly Friday. So until then, BookTube, thank you. Have a great afternoon and stay safe.